Well, a devastating loss for 12 families after losing their home in an early morning fire. It happened at the countryside square condominiums in Orem, and that is right now where we find ABC 4's Nicole Newman joining us live. Nicole. Well, Nick, it's difficult to put into words when seeing this type of devastation close up. We are told that the fire started in this upstairs unit here on the third floor. The charred remnants, a result of the damage the flames have caused. You can still hear the smoke alarms beeping. Those fire alarms are annoying, aren't they? A reminder as to what happened in Building 44 at the Countryside Square condominiums in Orem early Saturday morning. It was 3 a.m. in the morning. I was on the other side, second level. I did manage to grab my purse, my checkbook, um, a coat and a scarf, and just get out with my nightgown on and my coat over it and my clot hopper shoes on. <laughs> Above Dora Schoenfeld's apartment, a break in the wall. Unreal. Possibly caused by water. If two feet of water filled up that level. And then it finally just gave and a waterfall just washed clothes and their bedding and all kinds of stuff, just debris that all came out of that upper level. ABC4 was there Saturday afternoon as a crew assessed the building to be boarded up. This is tough. Robert Rask talks about the efforts to douse the flames. He says at times reached 20 feet. You would think that they had it out and all of a sudden it would blow up again and you know, it was unreal. They had the three hoses going at it the whole time. The good news to report is everyone made it out of the building safely. Huge shout out to the firefighters. I mean, they really, sorry, they did a great job. Now this evening, the Red Cross is helping fire victims. In the meantime, there was a GoFundMe page set up to help all of the fire victims for anyone wanting to help. Live in Orem, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.